Osaka Castle is one of the most intriguing of all of Japan's forgotten wonders. A place we have covered in the past, it was, we believe, like so many other inexplicable sites around the world, re-inhabited by our most recent of ancestors, placed within an academically permitted timeline of events. A chronology that, if one wishes to succeed in the mainstream, must toe the line of. For if one goes against the grain and explores the site with a critical mind, one can clearly see it contains a number of surviving features, which not only displays lost knowledge, thus the work of a lost civilization, which at some point in the very distant past built ruins all around the globe. Building countless polygonal ruins which have, due to their incredible construction technique, fortunately survived into the modern era. However, it is not just its polygonal foundations which show clear evidence of these elusive and consistently denied lost ancestors. Octopus Rock, for example, also sometimes known as the Drum Stone, is the largest megalithic stone found within the walls within the castle's grounds. This giant stone, just like those of Baalbek, is enormous. Estimates for its weight range from 100 to 300 tons although it could, of course, be far heavier. However, even at these conservative estimates, any explanation of how ancient man accomplished such feats remains elusive. For the fact remains, the stone is of an incredible size, and to this day, its placement, along with many others found throughout the world, remains unexplained and unknown. So, for one to conclude that this stone's use its quarrying, transporting, and placement within this wall was done by our less capable, more primitive post-Ice Age ancestors. Yet all these methods of building and lifting, the knowledge of how to do such tasks, somehow simply vanished through the ages. All of which now remaining a mystery even with computer technology. An explanation still evades us. Thus to conclude this to be anything else than that of a relic, left by a far older, now lost civilization's work, we believe would be highly illogical and should appear illogical to anyone with a capacity to dissect the purposes for these actions, taken by an academia claiming to hold all the answers. All the while, actively concealing or ignoring any conflicting controversial evidence, truths that due to their belief in their power, laying within their reluctance to ever admit an incorrect hypothesis for the origins of species or the timeline of man. Thus, this doubling down on fallacy merely makes their persistence at sticking to said posits not only a damaging conspiracy, which robs us all of our heritage, but can also be perceived as an attempt to conceal anything which could alter the status quo. The octopus rock is an incredible feat of ancient engineering, and one, just like that of the polygonal masonry techniques that can be found at countless other sites the world over, is clearly a relic of a forgotten past, accomplished with the use of forgotten technology and knowledge. Just how big is octopus rock? How old is it for that matter? And how did our ancient ancestors accomplish these feats? As our research deepens and our studies widen, our target, that of a currently hidden lost civilization, becomes clearer in the mind every day, and it is only a matter of time before they are fully rediscovered. To deny such facts will eventually become too ludicrous. It is a journey of discovery which is, undoubtedly, highly compelling.